what should people look for in someone who does what you do? Like, how do you find someone who does what you do, basically being a, a DM or a GM for a game? So I think the most consistent way is to go to a local game store. So like if you have like a local game store, most of them have some kind of D&D TTRPG program. Um, a lot of them will play live at that table. And sometimes you can even just watch first to see if you like the vibe. Um, uh, for D&D specifically and many other game systems, just not all of them, there's a website called Roll20 which has a uh, matchmaking feature. So if you want to try to find a game that maybe you can hop in on to give it a try, you can. Um, in terms of being a, like like looking for a game master, someone who's going to be the leader of the table, the, the two things I would look for are how quickly and how clearly do they communicate and how well do their actions match their promises. So... A lot of times, like if you send a message to someone and you mentioned this on a podcast we did on Dragon Mind because you're a co-host for Borrowing Brilliance. Um, you know, if if they give you some kind of pre-framing, right? Like they're like, you know, Fridays are the day I check my email. That's one thing. But if you send a message to them and it takes them a week to get back to you um, and maybe it's not super clear what's happening, in my experience, it's probably not going to be a good fit. Um, and then the other thing is, is how well do their actions match their promises? Because this is a very creative uh, type of activity, where people's creativity goes can be very different and incompatible. So for example, I know a lot of uh, TTRPG players that like kind of a horror vibe, where it's like, you know, violent or graphic or that that's the thing that they're into. But like horror movies, a lot of other people, including myself, find them very upsetting. I wouldn't find it very enjoyable to play a game like that. So you just want to make sure if they're going to promise one thing, they're going to be able to follow through on it. If they say, I'm going to have a safe PG rated content table and suddenly there's blood and guts and stuff, that's kind of a red flag. You may want to assess whether it's a good fit. 